So the Passover meal has finished and Jesus immediately takes his disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane. And that is where we find ourselves right now. The garden would have been at the base of the Mount of Olives, uh, just right as Jesus entered Jerusalem. And so that's how, how we're using this in Fairmount. We are at the gas station now, and we are just entering the town of Fairmount. The Garden of Gethsemane was a place of intimacy for Jesus. It was a place of deep connection with his father, a place that he got away and he was able to just be himself, uh, his own little prayer closet, this garden at the base of the Mount of Olives, a place that he retreated just to be with his father. But today, uh, it, the mood is different. It's, it's later at night, so it's probably dark. Uh, he decides to take his disciples with him and he leaves most of them uh, at one spot and then he goes a little further into the garden with Peter, James, and John and asks them to all keep watch and to pray with him. Uh, his soul is in deep anguish. The moment that he is there in that place praying, we, are, we read in the Bible that he sweats droplets of blood. And I don't know if we can imagine what he what must have been going through, but I, I assume that there is some deep isolation, maybe some fear. He's human and God. Uh, he's sad. So I wonder what it would be like for him to be facing bearing the weight of all the sin of the world on his shoulders right at that moment. So as he's praying and his soul is in anguish, he's crying out to his father in distress. And he ultimately says, not my will be done, God, Father, yours, yours be done. What a powerful statement that in that moment, Jesus is willing to submit and surrender completely to God's will. That maybe he, he doesn't want to go through with this. And, he, and he's, he's bold enough to share that. But he also says, not my will, but yours. I'll submit to your will. So in that moment, we recognize what he's, be, what he's doing for you and what he's doing for me out of love. Completely surrendering to God's will submitting to everything that was going to come that week of his death. Would you be willing to pause and just say a prayer of thanksgiving for what Jesus did out of love for you? Let's give him praise and honor and glory to the beautiful name of Jesus Christ. He's worthy of it all.